Now, fatty acids um, exist in the body and in food, and they're moved around in the form of triglyceride. And a triglyceride has a, a backbone that is a glycerol molecule, and here again are several different structural, structural representations of glycerol, but basically it's a triol. It's a three carbon chain with three um, alcohol groups or hydroxyl groups on it. All right, and um, triglycerides are continually packed together and unpacked depending on what where you are um, in the metabolism. But basically the triglycerides are formed when um, three fatty acids combine with one glycerol in a condensation reaction to give a triester, which is called a triglyceride. Okay, so it's just one glycerol or glycerin, those use, words are used interchangeably, one glycerin molecule that has had three fatty acids um, chemically bound to it by a condensation reaction. So you see you split off three water molecules. And you can see here um, the three carbon um, backbone for the glycerol is one, two, three. And then on each one of those um, carbons, you have an ester linkage linking the fatty acid chain to the glycerol backbone. Okay, so this is a very common type of chemical reaction that occurs, a condensation reaction. Um, and so the fatty acids um, are linked together with the triglycerides, and that's how they're stored and moved around your body. Okay. And so here's just a table from your book that shows some common fatty acids, um, some saturated fatty acids, and some unsaturated fatty acids. Okay. Um, you don't need to memorize the names, um, but notice that all of the names in are ic acid, um, and that's sort of the general um, nomenclature rule for naming uh, fatty acids. And then the names vary based on the um, type of um, hydrocarbon chain that exists on the fatty acid. Okay, um, so fatty acids are packaged together with um, uh, the glycerol, and that's how they're stored and moved around your body as triglycerides. Um, that's how they're stored in fat tissues and whatnot. And then when the body um, needs to access the energy that's um, stored in the fatty acid, or excuse me, in the triglyceride, what the body does then is it reverses this reaction and breaks down the triglyceride into the individual. Sometimes it takes off one, sometimes it takes all, off all three, and then there are enzymes that recognize this carboxylic acid head group and then start breaking down um, the um, fatty acid chain in, in groups of two carbons. We can look at 